Okay. They give us two coordinates. Coordinate A and coordinate B. We know negative 1 and negative 2. Both of those are my x parts. And we know that um, 3 and 4 is y. Okay, so I'm going to take this as x1 and y1. And I'm going to take this as x2 and y2. Okay, the first one says find the gradient of line AB. We know how to calculate the gradient now. The gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, so my two yellow coordinates need to go in at the bottom. Okay, and we know that my two green coordinates go in at y. Okay, now it's just purely substitution. So my, uh, minus Four. Right there, minus four here. Yeah. yeah, I can see. I think this must be a minus four. And this must be a minus three. Okay, let's quickly have a look. Okay, so fix this. This is supposed to be a negative four. Okay, so it's going to be minus four. Minus positive 3 and then at the bottom minus 2 minus from the formula negative 1 Okay, negative 7 divided by negative 1 gives me 7. So the gradient is just minus 7. This is just an alternative Depending on which point you took as point 1 and which point you took as point 2 You can see in both examples you land up with the same answer Okay Right, we found the midpoint. Remember I said to you midpoints like a coordinate, hey? Okay, so to calculate the midpoint, it's x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we've got minus 1 plus negative 2 divided by 2 and you've got 3 plus negative 4 divided by 2. If you add it in another step here by making that a minus, it's fine. And if you add it in another step making that a minus, it's also okay. Okay. Okay, and then your distance. Okay, the biggest thing is you guys need to just focus when you substitute in over here. That's where you guys are going to make your mistakes. Okay, so x2 is um, negative 2. That's the negative from the formula. And x1 is negative 1 and we square it. Plus y2 is negative 4 and y1 is positive 3. So we just keep this negative from the formula. Okay. Make that a plus. Um, simplify that straight away to negative 7. Okay. This is negative 1 squared. Square that is 49. So from here you can use your calculator. Step or step. Okay. So 1 plus 49 is the square root of 50. Please just read your question. If I say to leave it in simple third form, you're going to leave it like that. Okay. If I don't, if I just say to round it off to two decimal places, then you'll push S to B and you'll get 7.07. Okay. So here, it depends what I asked for. This is simple third form. Okay. Simple third form. Okay, listen to me very carefully now. Do you see it says converse there on top? Okay, converse obviously means we do the inverse of what we've been doing. Okay, so the only difference over here now is that instead of giving you both coordinates, I'm going to now give you a coordinate and half of the other one and maybe give you the distance and you must go find what y is for that, that coordinate. Okay, so look, I give you A's coordinate is 1 and 2. B's coordinate is 3 and K. Go and calculate K if the gradient of AB is a half. So do you see, I give you the gradient. I'm not asking you to calculate the gradient. I'm giving you the gradient and I want the Y value of B. So do you see, we're working backwards. Okay, so... Stick to basics. Write your formula down. What is your formula for gradients? That's it. Y2 minus Y1 
1 divided by x2 minus x1. This is the gradient formula for line AB. Are you with me? Okay, but what is the gradient of AB? They gave it to you. So we're going to substitute it into the gradient. The gradient of AB is a half, so we're going to put it in there. Do you understand? Okay. Then they tell you, we, do we know what Y2's value is? Y2 is K. Are you with me? Y1's value is 2. So can you see? I just go substitute in. K minus 2. Do you guys understand? Right. My x value is 1 and 3. So I'll go substitute it in by my x. 1 and 3. And all I do now is I solve for k. Right, I simplify my denominator. 3 minus 1 is 2. And now I solve for k. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. My 2's cancel. On the left hand side I'm left with k minus 2. And on the right hand side, right -hand side I'm left with 1. You guys okay? Right, take this 2 over. It becomes a plus 2. Therefore k is equal to 3. So therefore, what is B's coordinate going to be? 3 and 3. Is that difficult? Okay, now let's have a look. So they give you, we're still going to use the first A and B's coordinates. 1 and 3, 2, 3 and K. But now they're telling you that the midpoint of AB is 2 and negative 4. They're giving you the midpoint. We need to go and find... Okay, right, so if we just start normally, what is my midpoint formula? My midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. All you're going to do is you're going to substitute it in as they give it to us. Okay. So, do we have x1 and x2 of both coordinates? Yes. 1 and 3. So, 1 plus 3 divided by 2. Be happy. Okay, let's go and substitute in. Just hold on. Okay, let's go and substitute in our y values, which is 2 and Okay. okay, but now what I want you guys to focus on, listen to me carefully. Midpoint is a coordinate. Are you with me? And we're trying to find the midpoint between two coordinates. Does that make sense? Okay. So this is a coordinate and that's a coordinate. Are you with me? This is x, this is x. That's the x part of my midpoint. This is both x's of my two coordinates. Does that make sense? So the first piece in blue is the x pieces of these two points here. Are you with me? That too is the x of the midpoint. Okay, so, mm, so let me draw it up for you. So let's just have an argument take here as my line AB. Right? This is the X piece of A. You see? And this, you see here, the X piece of B. Okay? This two is the x of your midpoint. So here's your midpoint here. That midpoint is x value is 2. So do you see, that in blue are all x's. 
Okay, you with me? Okay, in green is my wand. Can you see? Okay, so this is two. It's my Y value. Do you see two? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. This is? Okay. Can you see? There. And then tell me that the midpoint Y value is? Negative four. So do you see how they're grouping them all together at the same time? But now the thing is, what we want to calculate, which is K, is a Y value. So am I even concerned with the X's? No. Because what I want is a Y value. So I'm just going to work with the y. y values. So can you see? 2 plus K over 2 is equal to negative 4. I'm only working with my Y values. Because K is a Y value. Do you see? K is a Y value. If they wanted you to find an X value, we won't look at the Y values. We, we would have worked with the blue piece. Are you with me? Right. So, I'll go and multiply both sides by 2. This cancels. I'm left with 2 plus K is equal to negative 8. I'll take this 2 over and it becomes a negative 2. This is gone here now, so k is equal to negative 10. Are you with me? Therefore, k's value is negative 10. Okay, right. Um, inverse distance now. Okay, so distance formula, you'll go write everything down. And again, you'll just go and substitute in what they give you. Okay, so do you see the distance is given? So you'll go write the distance in. Okay, you'll go substitute in 3 minus 1, which is the x value, and k minus 2, which is your y value. Okay, and then you'll just go and solve for k. So, first things first, 3 minus 1 is 4. You can't go and subtract k minus 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, so what we do from there, wait, can I tell you why it's 4? It is, because it's squared. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Okay, then to get rid of the square root, we're going to square both sides. A squared cancels a square root. A square cancels a square root. So you're left with 20 and that square root is gone. Okay? To do square root, you square to get rid of the square root. Yeah. Okay, we bring this 4 over. We subtract 4. 20 minus 4 is? 16. Okay, in order, now remember inverse operation, in order to get rid of the square, we then gonna square root that cancels. Okay, remember whenever you square root, your answer is always plus or minus. Remember that's now nice. just quickly if you need to just jump in between. Remember we used this with quadratic. Okay, mm -hmm. plus or minus because we've got two x intercepts. Okay, right, so we're going to have k minus 2 is equal to plus or minus 4 because the square root of 16 is 4. Okay, so 4 is equal to k minus 2. This is the positive piece. Can you see? Okay, so 4 is equal to k minus 2. You take that 2 over becomes a plus 2 times, so k is equal to 6. And then we've got negative 4 is equal to k minus 2. Take the 2 over, it becomes a positive, so negative 2 is equal to k. Okay. 